Hi there today, I've decided to make a wee video for YouTube for those that might be interested in xenon short arc lamps which I've been experimenting with for a while uh, these are uh, using a lot of different things one of them being cinema projectors and uh, this bulb here in the safety canister at the moment is about a 3000 watt lamp I gathered quite a few of these and built a power supply to run them and while doing so I was told by a heap of people you won't be able to make a power supply to run one of those you'll have to buy one uh, which I didn't believe so uh, after some time I got a power supply together uh, which is a pretty nasty piece of dodgy equipment in that horrible wooden box that probably a dog wouldn't even want to sleep in <laughs> um, anyway transformer in this box here uh, produces around about 30 volts at 175 amps and uh, runs down those cables there and thinking about this project I thought well, it was an ideal thing once I've got one of these lamps going to put it into and I thought why not a searchlight so I managed to get, get hold of from a friend of mine an old World War II coastal search lamp for illuminating uh, you know ships at sea I guess <laughs> and uh, decided to fit one of these lamps to that to make something that was uh, usable um, the lamp that's in this one is a considerably bigger one this is rated at 5 kilowatts and that's what the power supply is supplying in the uh, bottom of this chassis here I've retrofitted, not that you can see a uh, series starter which puts a, a high voltage spike of around about 25 to 30,000 volts across the lamp to initiate the arc between the electrodes. So you can probably see in there, between the gap. Now, uh, as I say, these are very dangerous lamps, and uh, uh, handling them, I've had to use, buy various pieces of safety equipment, leather gloves, masks, and so on, uh, to deal with these things. But needless to say, uh, we've got this all running now, and uh, I'll crank it up and do another video, part two of this, uh, with it running. So uh, have a look for it, and I'm sure you'll find it.